my channel. Today's date is Monday, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. Such a wonderful day to remember and honor everyone who has served in our country. Today I wanted to do a little one day vlog in my life. Um, I technically have the day off from work because it is Veterans Day but I'm still gonna be just like at home doing a little bit of work from home today. This past weekend, I was out of town. We went to Monterey and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I was out of town this weekend and so like I'm really grateful to be able to just spend the day home today. So I thought I would do just a one day, day in my life little vlog and just catch up and just be cozy. So I'm gonna get ready for the day. I know I'm like still, oh my goodness, look at my pajamas. I haven't even looked <laughs> in the viewfinder, but I know I'm still in my pajamas right now. These pajamas I got from Target on Friday. I got them from Target and they're so cute. They have like, oh, well it's upside down, but look, they have like a little smiling mug, smiling gingerbread house, polar bears, star cookie. They're just the cutest little holiday pajamas. And I got them on Friday um, because I was feeling sad and I was like, you know what usually makes me feel a lot better? Target. <laughs> and it did, it did make me feel a lot better. So I got that, but I know I'm still in my pajamas right now. I'm gonna get a little bit ready for the day. I find that even on days that like I'm working from home and like technically I don't have to work today. I really don't. I'm not getting paid today because <laughs> um, it's a holiday, but I, I still am gonna work a little bit just because in our lab we have like a couple of time sensitive projects coming up and I'm weeding them. So even on days that I do work from home or I'm just like at home, I love getting ready and I prefer to get ready even if it's just like putting a tiny bit of concealer on, some powder, some blush for multiple reasons. Number one, I find that it just helps my productivity so much. It makes me feel happier and like it makes me just do work. And number two, a lot of the days that I like work from home or I stay at home, I spend those days working on UGC for fiber. For those of you who don't know, I talked about it a little bit in my last vlog, but recently I've been doing a ton of UGC work and UGC stands for user generated content. Basically, I'm a freelance content creator on this app called Fiverr. And Fiverr is like a community platform where content creators like me or freelancers can sell their services to like different people or companies, people who own small businesses, etc. So basically what I do is I will make promo videos. A lot of it is like short form content. So like for TikTok, Instagram reels, etc. I'll make short form content for like a clothing brand or um, like an e-commerce brand or something like that. 
um, and I'll film with the product and I'll film me talking about it or I'll just like film me reading a script and then they can post it like on their social media accounts. So yeah, that's another reason why I prefer to get ready on days that I'm even just like sitting at home because I know I'm gonna film stuff for uh, Fiverr. Today it is raining <laughs> in San Francisco. This is our first rainy day that we have had all fall. I think fall is really starting to settle in. Today we have a rainy day which makes me so happy that i just get to like work from home and be all cozy i do need to get groceries at some point today although i don't quite know when and then today i'm not doing a workout because today is my recovery day this weekend a group of us went to monterey um and it was so much fun i'll, I'll give you the whole squad it was me and sean in one car and then we drove three of Sean's close friends from college, Aiden, Jalen, and Luke. And then the other car was Abby, Catherine, and Stasio. And so the eight of us went to Monterey for the weekend for the Monterey Half Marathon. Sunday was the actual half marathon itself. This was such a beautiful, beautiful race. The Monterey Bay Half Marathon is rated the best half marathon in the Bay Area. I keep telling everyone this <laughs> um, because it is. It's like rated the number one. And I think for like the views, for the terrain, um, for you know all the features, everything like that. But it was just so beautiful. I would say like at least five or six miles of the entire race was just coastal. It was so, so, so pretty along the beach. Um, it was like also through downtown Monterey. The crowds were so wonderful. We like ran past the sea lions or maybe they're they're otters i think they're otters but like we ran past the otters um and it was just so awesome to be like immersed in nature on the path like it was definitely one of the most beautiful paths i've run on for a race me abby catherine jalen uh and aiden the five of us ran it together catherine and i ran the race together for like I think the first 10 or 11 miles. Um, so it was really, really fun being able to run right next to her. Last night and today especially, definitely very, very sore. Oh, oh my gosh. I also, during the half marathon in the morning when we were waiting in line for the bathroom, um, someone came up to me. I think her name was Karen. Um, but someone came up to me and was like, do you make YouTube videos? Like, I watch your vlogs. And I was so surprised because that doesn't happen to me anymore. <laughs> like when I went to Berkeley, it used to happen where like students would come up to me and say like, oh, I watch YouTube videos when I was trying to get into Berkeley and I was like deciding between schools. Like that was a lot more common because I made so many videos about Berkeley um, and they were like very informative, but it doesn't really happen anymore nowadays because I'm just living, <laughs> I'm just living. Um, and so to have that interaction yesterday was just so special and it was a great inspiration for me to like keep doing this little hobby of mine <laughs> but yeah that was crazy and so awesome and definitely made my morning but overall the whole weekend was so much fun really really enjoyed it where do we go from here in terms of races i'm currently looking at marathons to run in 2025 my two options right now are either a the napa county marathon that's going to be march 2nd or b the la marathon which is march 16th i think those are most of the updates i have to like physically and verbally update the vlog on. So now I'm gonna get changed, get my work from home set up, click clack on my computer and get a lot of lab work, administrative work done, make some content. And I guess we'll see where the day takes us. If you hear any background noise it's because i have my heater on because it's been so cold i have been spending the couple, past couple of hours cranking out a ton of work it's currently 12 30 and i need to make lunch and i'm also honestly probably gonna take half of the day off because i just like i, <laughs> I want to take a little bit of a break today because it is a holiday but let's make lunch after lunch i'm gonna do all my fiber stuff after Fiverr, I am gonna leave the house. I'm gonna go somewhere, maybe out. I realized I gotta get groceries too. So let's now make some lunch, take a little bit of a lunch break, and then we will work on Fiverr for the rest of the afternoon.
this salad dressing from Trader Joe's is seriously so good. And then um, life hack that I learned from my friend Talia a while ago, if you are ever using kale in like a salad or you just want to eat kale, <laughs> um, pro tip is to massage it with olive oil first. I think this is just like extra virgin olive oil. Otherwise, your kale is going to be very crunchy and very hard to chew. If you massage it in olive oil, it just makes it a bit softer and easier to chew. So I'm going to eat my lunch and watch some Grey's Anatomy. I'm about to film two seeking videos for Fiverr right now. I always just have like my laptop next to me with the actual script and then the order pulled up so that I can like memorize lines speak to the camera, go back to memorizing lines, speak to the camera, etc. But yes, I love this background. Um, this is usually where I film just my speaking portions for my Fiverr videos because the background is just, it's nice. It is a little bit later in the day now. It is currently 3.30. I have been doing work the entire day up until now, but I am going to go to Trader Joe's now just to get my groceries for the week. Then after that, I'll come back home and I will be going to the Hermes store because I had a necklace there that I dropped off to get repaired and I need to go pick it up. So I will go to Hermes and then meet Sean at his office because they recently just got a new office for his job um, So he's gonna give me a little tour today and then we're gonna grab um, Some drinks I think like in the Soma Fide Eye area and then we're gonna come back home cook dinner and That'll be the evening before we leave though. I need to show you guys this jacket I got this jacket and also actually this little button-up last Friday from Target. Like you cannot tell me that this is not the most stunning jacket you've ever seen. I wouldn't style it with these like brown pants, but this is what I'm wearing right now and I'm just getting groceries so it's not a huge deal. Let's go to Trader Joe's. I'm headed out now to pick up my necklace from Hermes and then meet Sean at his office for a tour and then grab drinks. But I wanted to show my little outfit. I'm just wearing the same um, little button down sweater that I was wearing the entire day. But I put on some black jeans. These are the marine pant from Zara. And of course my favorite jacket and my purse. And we're going to take the Muni, which is basically like the subway, to downtown because it is impossible to find parking there. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna vlog like a ton, especially um, at Sean's office because that's like, you know, his professional working space. Um, but I'll try to get some clips here and there. Mm -hmm. 